Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ. Welcome to Rockstar Lighting. You know, the name is Chauvet DJ, but as you all know by now, Chauvet DJ Lighting is not just for DJs. It's for a multitude of applications, most especially bands. And that's what Rockstar Lighting is all about. Your band sounds great, but how do you look? As a band guy myself, I know it takes a lot of work to get people even through the door to come to a gig. So when they do show up, make sure they can see you. Some simple lighting that's affordable, easy to set up, easy to operate, easy to tear down, can really set your band apart from the competition with a visually professional and dynamic stage presence. So that's what Rockstar Lighting is all about, some tips and techniques for lighting for bands. In this first episode, we're going to talk about backlighting versus frontlighting your band. So here we have what might be considered a traditional, if somewhat more extensive lighting situation for a band. We've got a goalpost post trussing kit here, which is a quick setup, do-it-yourself, really light system uh, that's perfect for bands. And on that, we have some effect lighting and also for some backfill wash color onto the stage. Looks great, works great. You may not have a trussing system, perfect, don't worry about it. But on either side of the stage, we have what we call pack and go systems. And these are perfect for bands, ultra convenient because they come with a tripod, with a bag, you take it out, you set it up, you put the lights on the thing, plug it in, you're ready to go in seconds. They can be controlled with a foot switch, they can be controlled, some of them through Bluetooth control through the BT Air app from your phone or tablet. Really convenient, they don't take up a lot of space in your truck or car. So four bar LT quad BT, or the Gig Bar 2 that we have over here on stage left are perfect solutions for a band. But what happens a lot of the time because of space constraints of the venues we play in, the band will automatically put these to the back of the stage to fill the stage with color and illuminate some of the players from behind, which is a great idea. As you can see here, this looks great. It looks dynamic, we have some movement, we've got some color wash, and it's great also to outline the players from behind. It really creates a nice depth perception effect. So backlighting is very important, but what really happens, again, because we don't often have lights in front of us, the reality of the situation is something like this. As you can see, again, I'm completely backlit, but as a player who may be front and center, I'm almost now completely in silhouette. So that is an issue. Looks great from behind, not so much from in front. How do we fix that? So what we've done here is we've taken one of our pack and go systems, the four bar, and we've moved it to the front of the stage. Now we haven't moved it here where it's in the way of the audience, but we've simply moved it to where typically our PA system would be. This time it's on the right, it could be on the left. You could move both to the front of the stage if you'd like. And as you can see, I'm really lit only from one side, from this stage right side. But for a, uh, a rock or a pop or even a, a blues or jazz type of genre and feel, that can be very appropriate to the mood of the music that's playing. The point is you can now see at least my face and see that there's a person here as opposed to being completely in silhouette. There are other options as well, and that is foot lighting. We have some great products for that too. So let's take a look at that. And just like that, magically, we have some incredible foot light. This is one unit. This is the Color Band Q3BT. So it's a quad color linear strip light that is Bluetooth compatible. So right now we've added the side wash, which again is unobtrusive. It's near the front PA speaker, hitting me from the right with blue. We still have our gig bar in the back. Right now that's just set on a static color red that's washing some of the stage here as well as our backlight fixtures here, adding the stage wash behind me. But now you can clearly see me. This might be a little bit bright, but it's great for things like uh, cabarets or, or jazz clubs or things like that, that sort of gives you that vintage feel of that footlight coming from underneath. The great thing about a fixture like the Color Band Q3BT is that I can control this thing right from my phone or tablet with the BT Air app. For instance, I can dim this out completely right from my phone. I can change colors so I can go to match the blue, for instance, and now I'm very blue from both sides. So things like that with a touch of a button 
I can really control that front lighting using a product like the Colorband Q3BT. By the way, we have another tool that's great for front lighting, that is the Freedom Psych, a 100% true wireless fixture, battery powered, wireless DMX built right in. And the thing about the Freedom Psych is they have a very wide beam angle that gives you a warm, even wash against surfaces like walls for up lighting. You can use them as down lighting as well. Here we have them as footlights. You still get that sort of dramatic shadowy look, but in combination with the four bar unit still over here on stage right, where it's giving us a little bit of side wash. This is uh, still illuminating the performers on stage and I have plenty of space to move around and still be in light. So the Freedom Psych or other battery powered fixtures like them sitting on the floor aimed strategically at the performers can make a really effective front light for bands. So we've created kind of a different front lighting look here using this powerful tool. This is the Freedom H1. Very compact, completely battery powered, 100% wireless wash light that has a powerful magnet on it that can be used to stick to drop ceiling frames. You know, a lot of the bars and clubs that we play at have lower drop ceilings and you can stick these right to the frame to create some really nice front wash. Here we have two fixtures to the drop ceiling frame. Those are in white so you can see them against the black ceiling here. But perhaps the black version may be better depending on the venue that you're at. And you can see as the uh, one of the front performers in a band, I am nicely lit from the front using two of these Freedom H1s that go up in a snap. So that's it for this episode, guys. Front lighting versus back lighting. Some things to keep in mind, but the most important thing is make sure the players are seen by the audience. And we've got lots more tips and techniques for lighting for bands coming up in Rockstar Lighting. So be sure and stay tuned. Check us out on www.chauvetdj.com. For now, I'm Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ. Thanks for watching.